Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, beings and beasts from this and other universes, and you are watching Wild Films. Today we're on bi-weekly part, uh, episode 16, um, Elemental Invasion, Run for Your Lives. Um, as some of you may have realised, um, the in Elemental Invasion is going on in Stormont at the moment, and so I went down to this shaman guy to grab the quest, and um, there is a little bit of travelling, not too much, so I recorded it, but I will speed it up a little. Um, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, for those of you who don't know what's happening, uh, or the law behind it, although I'm not a law boffin, um, I do know that what's happening is that Deathwing is breaking out of the elemental plane, which is in the whirlwind in the middle of the sea, and it's causing loads of elementals to pop off everywhere. Um, just what, something that's sort of interesting, that NPC there that I was just speaking to, um, actually does have texture, so you can't walk through him as you can with most other NPCs. Um, just kind of interesting. So I'm just grabbing all of these quests and completing a couple. Um, and um, one of them tells me, see look there, you go trying to jump on top of him. As you can see I can't walk through him as such. Um, anyway, I'm down here, I need to talk to this guy to uh, get him to speak to me. And he's a doomsayer, and next to him is the uh, little rip that I've got to get. There we go. N um, and he is saying, a bit like that guy in the film uh, 2012, the crazy guy on top of the volcano, if any of you have ever seen that film, he's saying to everyone, oh, everything bad is happening, come and join the cult, or uh, be reborn as elementals, and then you'll be safe. Um, so he's basically telling these innocent citizens a storm and scaring them and telling them to become elementals. Which is sort of weird, I must say. Um, so anyway, there are a couple more of these guys around here and you've just got to grab some of the uh, scrolls from over there, so I was doing that. And then the last one is just up here. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say really. Uh, Cataclysm is coming out on the 8th of December. Um, sorry, 7th of December even. Uh, patch 4.0.3 which will um, just introduce a couple more things will come out shortly before that and uh, even more shortly before that patch 4.0.3a will come out which will mess up Azeroth and everything which is when uh, Azeroth will have a, um, a, um, a makeover from Deathwing sorry I uh, had to uh, stop recording there for a second um, so anyway, yeah, I am just putting down these uh, scrolls here, these uh, recruitment posters as such, um, from Stormwind, telling people not to get involved with these horrible cult people. Um, brilliant, and there's what it says. <laughs> um, so we'll just go on there. <coughs> um, so yeah, that could be quite exciting. Patch 4.0.3a um, will be... Uh, a very interesting patch indeed. And on the most part, um, you will be able to get, uh, you know, archaeology, flying mounts, although I do think you have to actually have purchased the expansion to be able to do that. Um, however, it, uh, it might, you might be able to get archaeology without having uh, Cataclysm, your, your account upgraded to Cataclysm. I'm not certain of that, so um, I wouldn't bank on it, um, but yeah, there you go, you get the idea. And so, here we go, off again, over to, by the way, that's um, Aura Mastery, it increases the effects of my auras by 100%, which is very helpful when you have Crusader Aura on, because it effectively gives you either, um, for me it's 120%, 140% even mounted speed. By the way, there, that was the head of Anixia, and it sort of makes you wonder why Deathwing has any mercy at all on the inhabitants of Stormwind hanging the head of his fellow kin on uh, on the bridge. Anyway, I'm not quite sure um, how Anixia is related to uh, Deathwing, and I do quite like that uh, speeded up speeded up stuff. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, quite interesting. Yeah, I'm just experimenting with some new stuff here. So, uh, you know, something I'm going to use in the future because um, when Cataclysm comes out, 
I am going to um, have a lot of clips at the moment. I've got 385 in my um, in my video directory. I'm planning to have quite a few more when Cataclysm comes out um, because I'm going to be recording lots and lots of uh, lots and lots and lots of clips of uh, leveling specifically with uh, my paladin and um, I'm not going to have any time to put it anywhere so um, yeah anyway just running around now um, killing not killing sorry talking <laughs> talking to these cultists don't get the two mixed up killing and talking um, what do I think of these quests I think they're really cool I think not just the quests themselves but I think the aura that they instill in Fork Haven there's an aura about them and um, it sort of says OMG we're being attacked and uh, all of the Stormwind inhabitants are really like uh oh we're going to die and I think that's a really cool aura that Blizzard's created um, anyway speed it up again I'm not sure whether you got the idea of that but I can certainly feel that everything is changing a lot uh, a lot a lot um, so anyway this quest I've got to visit these places and advertise the cultists so I haven't really decided here whether I'm going to advertise the cultists or the storm people and I've got this cool billboard on my tummy which is written in some random language that I really can't understand and sends me crashing into walls by the Sunday. So I'm trying to work out how to uh, tell them, you know, maybe talk to them, but no. Celerunic mana potion. <laughs> maybe that'll help. Uh, anyway, so I walked out here and there we go. Automated uh, system. Speedy uppy again. Um, and then we go to Goldshire, where is where my uh, next place is. There we go, just the other tap there. And then to the Valley of uh, strength. Unfortunately, they've picked two of the three most. No, even um, they've picked Goldshire, Westbrook Garrison, and the Valley of Strength. Nobody really hangs out in the Valley of Strength. Nobody really hangs out at the Westbrook Garrison. So, uh, probably not the best strategic placement. But you know, uh, I suppose they are cultists that have summoned Deathwing and given him armor and stuff. By the way. What did you think of the uh, Cataclysm cinematic? If you thought it was cool, um, like the video, I don't know, or post a comment about it. Just, you know, comment, say what you think about the video. So now I'm waiting for these guys to come, and uh, here they are. Now, seeing as I'm meant to be a cultist, I'll try and fit in. So I'll uh, join the end of the line, I suppose. Here we go. Oh, they're, uh, they're manoeuvring. Catch up. There we go, that's better. There you go, I'll fit in now. And, um... Ooh, they're starting to summon. I'd better summon two then. Ta-da! There we go, a paladin with a summoning circle thing. How cool is that? But uh, then I've got again, so I stop. Um, in case you're wondering, that is the wormhole generator from Northrend that I was summoning there. And it's really, really cool, because it dumps you in a hard to reach, well not hard to reach, but high up place in uh, Northrend. And this is Cho Ghoul, and um, he is the leader of the Twilight's Hammer, according to uh, what it says here. And um, he is going to be a raid boss in Cataclysm, in uh, Bastion of Twilight. There's some uh, information for you there. And I don't know how well you can see it here, but he's got eyes growing out of his flesh, which I'm sure probably isn't the coolest thing to have nowadays probably not the height of fashion having eyes growing out of your flesh and uh, he's basically saying oh well it's good that um, everything is coming out okay so anyway I've completed that quest so I'll just go back there and I will return it and this stupid fence thing keeps getting in my way and it's really annoying me now um, so after I've completed that quest I'll get a new one and apparently, the cultist wants me to go back to Stormwind. So, there I am, in Stormwind. And there's no more speedy uppy stuff anymore. Uh, actually, there might be a little bit. <laughs> now I have a look forwards in my timeline of events. So yeah, there's the guy that you can't walk through. Um, so 
So I've just got to go out here, and I've got to kill some of these elementals. I'm using my X-53 touring rocket, but I'm used to going at 310% speed. So when I go at 120% speed, it's not very satisfying, and so maybe I won't use it anymore. So anyway, you just destroy those things and attack the elementals, and then we'll go to speedy up. May I also mention that Holy Paladin DPS is actually relatively good, especially compared to what it was before, because um, Exorcism, by the way, maybe the chopper will uh, speed things up a bit for me. Um, Exorcism is now uh, has now no cooldown. It does huge amounts of damage, absolutely insane. And um, also, it, um, it's a 1.5 second cast, so you can basically just spam it all the time and get huge amounts of damage. So anyway, here are all the leaders of Alliance, the Alliance. Um, Ma King Magni Bronzebeard has had a bit of a gear update. Um, Virian Rin the same. Prophet Velen, you don't normally see him in Stormwind, you don't normally see him anywhere other than the Exodar, so uh, I'm not sure about that. And Hightinker Mecha Talk, poor thing standing there, probably not noticed by anything. And again, uh, High Princess Tyranind, um, not really looking very cool at all because she's got level 20 something gear. So anyway, thanks for watching guys, subscribe if, subscribe if you liked it, uh, I hope you did. Um, if not, I'll try to make a better video next time. Anyway, I just recorded it because I thought it was kind of cool. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.